got so much to say Never thought it would end this way I've had so many thoughts spinning in my head I wanna right my wrongs Never thought they would do such harm You got so many reasons spinning in your head That's why you left So hello guys What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel it's me, your girl, Barista Neze, and this is Nezeville. It's been over one full month since Whitney passed. Omo Desola Whitney Adeniro was a 12-year-old ex-pupil of Chrisland Schools. She went to school one day, just like any other child, but did not return. She passed at the school's sporting event. And despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, the school, in what seemed like a cover-up, had tried to pin her debts to a sudden cardiac arrest. They dissuaded the parents from carrying out an autopsy on the remains of their child. Well, the parents went ahead and did, and the results showed that Whitney had passed from electrocution. The autopsy result is out. This one was electrocuted. My daughter died of electrocution. Now that the autopsy results are out, Whitney can finally be laid to rest. Nobody deserves to go through it. The day she died, when I saw her at the hospital, lifeless on the bed, I thought that was the worst thing I would ever see. I thought that was the, the, the worst of it all, seeing my daughter's corpse. But the day she was buried, the day she was buried, hearing that casket hit the ground, and knowing that was my child in there, that was the worst moment of my life. The very worst moment. Nobody, no human being, dead or alive, deserves to go through this. It's a pain that eats you up physically, mentally, emotionally, and on top of that, you have underage children who cannot really grasp what is going on. And my son is 10, he, 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 he cannot comprehend what is actually happening. He knows she's dead, he knows she's not coming back. Now that was a quick summary for those who are watching this video as the first video concerning this case. And if you're interested in catching up on all the details about this case, I'm going to leave the links to all the videos I have done right in the description box. So I promised to keep us abreast on this case as new developments come to light. And today, we have new updates. First, Whitney's mother took to social media to raise some very serious damaging allegations. Let us read. Chris Land, play all your games. They just called the police that they want a repeat autopsy. They want to exhume my daughter's body for another butchering. These people are a bunch of jokers. She went ahead to post this. Chris Land, you had your own private pathologist at the autopsy examination, oh? He gave you the report. For you to even think of doing this is pure evil. May Jehovah's anger rise hot against you. If this is your plot to frustrate me, then get ready to lose because you have failed. So judging by this post Mrs. Adeniro made, Chrisland Schools is challenging the result of the autopsy that gave the cousin of the person as electrocution. And they are desirous of having her already buried body exhumed and another post-mortem examination carried out. If that is true, 
then it is utterly preposterous. Aside from the emotional trauma that it is bound to have on the already grieving and traumatized family, it's outrageous because Mr. Adini Ro has revealed to us when we had him featured on our channel that the family, his family, as well as the school, had a representative that witnessed the whole autopsy process. No, no, no. We, we hired a private pathologist to join them in the examination. It was there. Beautiful. So why asking to exhume the body? Why asking to desecrate the remains of the baby and start reopening her all over again? That's so impossible to think about. And if there's any truth in this allegation, I do hope that the court will refuse that application and that request in all its entirety. Well, hundreds of thousands of people have been outraged since this information made it out to the public. They have expressed their anger on social media and have called on the Adeniros to resist that attempt to do that to their child. Well, it's good to know that this kind of reaction didn't only come from internet users. The Lagos State Government, through its Ministry of Justice, has also condemned this. They believe that it's highly insensitive that there is an alleged plan to exhume and remutilate witness remains. Let us hear them in their own words. The Lagos State Ministry of Justice is aware of the current ongoing dialogue about the alleged plans to exhume the body of the late Whitney Omodesola Adeniro, a student of Chrisland schools whose death, as revealed by the autopsy conducted by the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, was as a result of asphyxia and electrocution. While we have not received any such official communication requesting for exhumation, however, if and when we do receive such a request, we shall be opposed to it. In any event, the circumstances for exhumation under the Corona System Law of 2015 do not arise in this case. Additionally, it is not our intention to further traumatize the diseased family. We are working closely with the police who have given their reassurance that the duplicate case file will be forwarded on Monday, 6th of March 2023 to the Directorate of Public Prosecutions to aid the speedy issuance of legal advice. So that's good and I find it a lot refreshing to know that the government through its Ministry of Justice is opposed to this purported idea. They have condemned it in very strong words and they have declared that if there's any truth in it, they will be vehemently opposed to it. So I'm going to keep watching out on that and I will certainly update you if there's anything that comes up. Another important update that has come up is that for the first time since this incident, Christland schools have tendered an unreserved apology. They also refuted the claim, making the rounds that they intend exhuming witness body. Let us hear from them as they wrote it. We are deeply saddened and sorry about witness deaths. We are remorseful and sorry to witness parents. We are sorry to our parents and the entire community that hosts our school. We are also very sorry to the nation at large. It was a huge loss to the school. We express an equal measure of apology to the Nigerian media, another critical stakeholder. In case we have sent unbearably quiet signals, we have been quiet because this death was so shocking. We opted more for introspection and moral rectitude rather than struggling around the media space to seize narratives. More so, we considered it imperative to allow the parents and indeed the entire Adeniro family the honor of their privacy as we all mourn the unfortunate loss. Whitney Adeniro was a bright and lovely student. She was popular and friendly. Her memory lives with us. We hereby vehemently refute the claim, making the rounds that Chrisland Schools intends to exhume Whitney's body. We have no such plan and assure the public that we are also parents in mourning and will not do or subscribe to anything 
that paints such insensitive optics that prevents our dear daughter from resting. We assure you all that no such thing would ever happen. Rather than do this, plans are on the way to immortalize Whitney's name so she can remain indelible in our consciousness. Christland schools will continue to cooperate with the authorities throughout the duration of the investigations and also offer the parents every necessary support in this grieving period. In the meantime, we have continued to engage their dinners. We are not relenting because she is our daughter too and we shall always be there with the family to navigate this dark period. To all those who have stood truly by us and their dinners at this trying moment, we convey our sincere gratitude. Signed, management. Now, you see, th these words look very sincere and deep. And for those that may not have been following up on this case, you may be swayed by them. But you see, this apology, instead of smoothening the ruffled feathers of Whitney's family and the public at large, it has even aggravated their anger. It has made their hairs stand on edge. People wondered, if they are actually indeed sorry or they're just sorry because they got caught. It comes off as more painful and unnecessary because Whitney's mother begged and begged for the truth about her daughter's death. She didn't have to plead for it. She didn't have to beg or coerce anybody for it. It was her right. They owed it to her to tell her what happens to a child that was handed to them in the morning and was dead in the afternoon. But despite her plea, all of them fell on deaf ears. The school insisted that Whitney had just slumped and died. They concealed the truth from the family. And even when they knew that the family was going for an autopsy, they still kept their mouths sealed. They made the family go through the trauma and the torture of an autopsy of having their baby diced and mutilated guys have you watched an autopsy before <laughs> go to youtube and search how an autopsy is done you may not be able to eat in the next few hours it is gory it is dehumanizing it is crazy now after making that child to be subjected to such horror that image of her daughter getting mutilated will forever be impressed in her subconscious for the rest of her and now the truth has been revealed a truth you knew and concealed, you are now coming out to tender a public apology. Like saying sorry will make everything go away. Like saying sorry would make Whitney come back. Like saying sorry would make the autopsy be reversed. Like saying sorry would just make everything go back to normal. To a lot of people, that is the height of hypocrisy and they are not having it. Listen to what Whitney's mother had to say about Chrisland's apology. Whoever knows Chris Land should tell them to please open up their comment section. We won't tell them something. Whoever is advising you that that is the way to go, the person did not advise you well. Or maybe you didn't take the advice well. But whatever your plan is in posting my child's picture and writing you are sorry, you are joking, go and pull that picture down. Or better still, open your comment section. We want to tell you something. That is number one. You never loved her. You're not mourning with me. When she died, you still called out mothers to come out and dance on the field. You sent her body to the, to the, to the hospital while you went on your way to the police station to make an official report. She died, your inter-house sports continued. So no, you didn't love her. You see me at the police station, you walk past me. You see me at the courthouse, you walk past me. You don't greet me, I don't greet you. You are not mourning with me, madam. That is number two. Number three, you ordered for another autopsy. Stop lying, please. You ordered another autopsy, yes. So if you say it is not true, then either you are lying or your policeman is lying. Mm. one of you is lying it is not me it is not for media sensation it is not for cloud it is not a misinformation you know what you did open up your comment section all right so in other words apology not accepted christland schools have now taken down that apology post aside from the school witness mother had also expressed that the principal of the school came to her and was you know talking about making amends and that they don't have to be enemies that when they see themselves outside they can still say hello to one another that they should put things aside and you know look up for a good relationship you know it's crazy because this is the same woman 
who Whitney's mother got on her knees and begged her to say the truth, to let her know what happens to her child and this woman stood adamant in their lies. Now she had the effrontery to come to Whitney's mother, extending the olive branch and asking that, you know, they put differences aside and have a cordial relationship. What nerves. So, in a nutshell, it is simply see you in court. Now, moving on from that apology and talking about the court case. The commencement of the hearing of the coroner's inquest set up to investigate witness passing was fixed for the 4th of April. And all things being equal, the trial should have kicked off by now. The counsel to the Adeniros is Barista Femi Falano, S.A.N. He is a very big and reputable senior advocate of Nigeria, a well-renowned human rights activist and human rights lawyer. Chrisland Schools, on the other hand, has also engaged the services of a son as well in person of Barista Olukayode Enito, S.A.N. So yes, the trial has kicked off and I will be following closely to get updates until this case is concluded and hopefully justice served. Mrs. Adeniro has continued to stay very vocal and expressive about everything surrounding her daughter's untimely and painful demise. She has done so much to the admiration of many and to the chagrin of some, some who still believe that it's in her best interest if she stays away from social media and mourn her daughter in silence. In this video she let out, she touched on how this incident has changed their whole family dynamics, their whole life, their whole living forever, and how they will seek therapy to help them through this trauma that has befallen them when things settle a little. It's been traumatic, not just for me and my husband, but also for our younger kids, you know, I have a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old and um, even though they have cried, I don't yet know how to handle them. I don't know how to communicate across to them. I have tried talking to my son, he just locks up. Um, when this whole thing is just settled to a point, we are looking into getting therapy, not just for the kids but also for ourselves um we've not been able to sleep we don't eat well it has changed it has changed our life our family it's been traumatic it's trauma mrs blessing adeniro mother of late whitney omodesola adeniro have continued to share beautiful memories of her daughter whom she misses so much every blessed day. Of course she has not gotten over it. She never will. She may never do. But with time, in good time, she would only learn how to deal and cope with it better than she's doing now. Please. Let us continue keeping Mrs. Adeniro in our thoughts and prayers. So thank you so very much for watching guys. Don't forget to drop all your thoughts, your ideas or your comments down below. Subscribe and stay glued for we have so much more coming your way. It's me your girl Barista Neze and this is Nezeville. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.